Hey guys, uh, so today I want to talk about game theory. If you haven't heard of game theory before, it's this um, field study about how to play games. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory, but it has a lot of cool interesting aspects to it that can be applied to society. Because society is largely a collective series of games in which we play with each other to be able to decide who should continue and who should not. So, I have to lay out a few context uh, pieces of information before I get into what I want to talk about. So, let's assume that the, uh, the, the philosophical or metaphysical or however you want to interpret it, form of masculinity is aggression. Let's assume that masculinity in its purest, most extreme form is aggression. Now, if we also assume that femininity in its purest, most extreme form is passiveness, then we can move on to the idea of the hawk dove game. It's a very early on in the in the theory or yeah in game theory, it's a very um, simple concept introduced introduced early in in the uh, in the theory. But essentially, it goes like this: the hawk dove game is about the balance of aggression and passiveness, and the ultimately the thing to learn about it is that the, it, there has to be a balance of hawks and doves, of aggression and passiveness. How we decide that is up to the, up to the society at, the current, at that current time, whatever that may be. But what we can be certain of is that a population full of pure aggression is certainly going to die. If everyone is aggressive, if everyone is constantly vying for control or power or whatever the resources may be that they desire, they're going to fight and die. And on the flip side, if you have a society that's full of passiveness, and only passiveness, then the one lone hawk that resides in that society or population will have a straight up field day that they will be able to tear apart any other passive animal so this leads me into the this idea of society as a whole and the equalization of of people and more importantly the equalization of outcome so if we all, let, let, let's say hypothetically, if we're all being pushed to be equal and not equal in opportunity, which is a different, but equal in outcome so that we all will become doves. Or if we are all equalized, become hawks. Uh, another form of masculinity as just a for context <laughs> for uh, this next part I'm going to talk about is that masculinity, aggression, is also, in more of a philosophical sense, considered order. And the femininity, passiveness, is considered chaos. And those two words have some connotation that uh, some people will get offended about. They might think that order is better than chaos. But... It really is about the combination of both of them. The, either one is bad on its own. Equally bad. If you have too much order, you have things like the Nazi regime. And th this this tyranny that develops from too much order. Too much, you will do this. You will do that. We will persecute these people. That's what happens. But if you have too much chaos... I mean, that's 
kind of self-explanatory as well, but too much chaos ends in things in, in no purpose, no no reason for being. If everything is random, nothing is supposed to happen. So, if we have a society of only order, we have tyranny. We have a society of only only uh, chaos. It's chaotic tyranny. It's, uh, it's orderly tyranny versus chaotic tyranny. Choose your poison kind of thing. But I think in society today, what could be happening, and more so what could happen if this is happening, is that if we're all being pushed into the same outcome, whether it be aggressor or passive, we're going to be torn apart. Again, it's this balance of the two. That's the whole. Neither one is whole on its own. So you, you can't you can't say that a man or mas- masculinity is purely aggression without some femininity. And it, it does go back to the whole yin and yang thing with the the parts of both being in any other. And this is important for balance. This equilibrium. And there there has to be a balance of these two to be able to predict the future more accurately. Or more subsequently in order to predict um, yeah to predict the future more more accurately and to make sure that the out or to make sure that our prediction comes true so what I'm meaning to get at with this is that if society is being pushed into um, more feminine or more passive. The people are pushed into you go to college or you go through elementary and high school, middle school, high school, and then you go to college and you do this and that. It's passive. You're you're not really aggregating towards anything. You're, You're passively following a predestined route to hopefully gain a future that is desirable. But if you're not having that balance, if you're not chasing while maintaining that foundation of passiveness, you're going to feel controlled. And I think that's largely, or I shouldn't say largely, but I think that's part of what's happening in society today is that a lot of people are being convinced that being passive is the best way to live life. But in reality, no matter if you're a man or a woman, you have to have a little bit of both. A woman kind of expresses her aggression by selection of who her mate is going to be. And a man expresses his passiveness by accepting the purpose that he has aggressed towards. And yeah, I think I think if we're all doves, if we're all passive, if society as a whole is going down just a single path and that's the whole college live your life this way sort of route and that leaves the people <laughs> aren't that way uh maybe these people don't maybe these people that are the the lone hawks in this case they want to cause a a tyranny you can very easily have a tyranny whenever everyone else is passive. So, to sum all of this up, what I'm getting at is that 
the the natural order of how human function humans function needs to be a balance. It requires both. And I think that's I think that's good. In in the end it's good. The more natural we are to who we are, either hawks or doves, is beneficial to society. Fighting these things is only going to bring us closer to the extremes. But yeah, I won't keep the video much longer than that, but hopefully that all made sense, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, bye.